It should be the entire diaspora. I'm going to say it one more time. It should be the entire diaspora that stands in solidarity by action, not just by words, not by empty words on this day. And if we do break bread together, it should be in honor of indigenous people, not the celebration of colonization. <laughs> yeah, man. Dreams of this world, blame it on my mama. Lodi say third out my underworld. Left and right brain. I know you changed the frame. Oh, and no tigresses, and not just my nickname. We all right, can- so it is that time. Take off the nails, let them breathe for a period. Who knows? Maybe two, three weeks, maybe a full trimester. <laughs> Um, I definitely like to keep my nails uh, shorter during uh, the academic year for obvious reasons. Come on, y'all. I'm in law school, so the typing and all. Um, My PhD program does require typing as well. Uh, So, yeah, that's 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 the lifestyle. So I've also finished with a lot of my promotional photographs. Uh, for which I wanted um, because getting my nails done is not a need because you all know that I can do them at home and I prefer to do them at home because of the the grandiose colors and styles that I like to uh, use. I'm not a cookie cutter type of chick. Mm. Right. So basically what you're seeing today is freedom. (laughs) on another level, right? And literally, it's just time to let them relax and breathe. Now, admittedly, for the last couple of times of getting my nails done, I have gone to the salon only because we have had a lot of travel. And admittedly, I am good at doing my nails, but they don't last as long and are not as durable as the nails when I get them done professionally. And I shouldn't put in the quotes professionally because I'm not a professional nail tech, remember? (laughs) Damn, like I'm not. So when I get them done professionally, as it should be, there should be an expectation that the professionals can do it better than she, right? And they do. And so in that regard... I got them done at the salon, but I am now very, very delighted cost wise and, uh, and all other, um, reasons like having the flexibility to change my nails as frequently as I wish. Um, all those things are just, just, oh, expressions of freedom that are just unmatched people, just unmatched. So today it's going to be very, very quick because I will be preparing Thanksgiving that has been, you know, my uh, set of, of responsibilities and uh, something that I quite enjoy doing uh, for uh, the holiday season, even though you know that I stand completely in solidarity with my fellow indigenous people for which my ancestral heritage is part as well. Mm-hmm. A moment. Okay. This will probably be a great place to insert some of our new music from our new album, Moonwalkers. Go check it out. It's on all digital music platforms. Yay! Stream it, download it. You can also purchase autographed copies at (laughs) eargasmrecords.com. All right. And please, I know that everybody thinks it's real funny to do the Thanksgiving clap back and all that kind of stuff. And I'm here for comedy. I really am. But remember, there's a difference between minstrel and comedy, folks. Because, like, are we, are we still promoting status quo over principle? Are we still promoting heart-clogging food over principle? Are we not standing in solidarity with indigenous people? Considering all, 
I, I'm just, I'm so confused. I'm, I'm just so confused. I understand where indigenous people themselves, certain tribes will have a meal, but that meal is not on the basis of the Thanksgiving holiday itself, the way it's celebrated or promoted, you know, backed by the colonial pilgrims and their discovery of America and their amicable dinner with Native Americans. We, no, we don't do that bullshit in this house. Okay, so I'm just a little confused. So, you know, like, leave in the comments, do you, how do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Are, are you showing some love? Like, it should be the entire diaspora. I'm going to say it one more time. It should be the entire diaspora that stands in solidarity by action, not just by words, not by empty words on this day. And if we do break bread together, it should be in honor of indigenous people, not the celebration of colonization. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let me turn my stuff on. And then I've got to go to the farmer's market and get all the food and all the things and all the things. Bob. Here we go. All right, here we go. You may recall in my previous videos that the KISS dip powder system is extremely simple and straightforward. Three easy steps. Brush on the gel, dip your finger into the powder, or of course your nail, <laughs> and then repeat that step. And then you're going to apply the activator to all of your nails after you get the desired layers of the dip powder and then add the brush on gel as your final gloss finish and there you have it magic <laughs> So here I'm just getting all the imperfections taken care of, just leveling the nail so that it looks really nice and has a smooth finish when I apply the top coat or the brush on gel, which will act like a top coat um, and finish this process. Make a sound I got you pound for 
I'm making my love fly free. Seems like yesterday you were a baby. Now you're spitting this song for me. Okay, friend. They're dry. All right, I can't spend my time fooling with y'all today. I gotta cook. Yeah, real time, you see, I'm washing my hands. That is uh, goat milk soap, just in case you were wondering. And you see the sheen? It really looks awesome. So initially the color looks kind of like funky, you know, not like funky cold Medina, but like funky, funky, right? But I made it work. Well, it makes it work, you know. <laughs> it's not a tigress thing. It ain't about you, tigress, right? Okay, so yeah, that's it, folks. Um, now I'm gonna pretty fire my hands with all of my lovely uh, jewelry. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear today. I've got on, uh, let's see, I've got on gold jewelry there, you see my jewelry. Got a dragonfly right there at the top and the all C and I, right? And then some cute little bows and hoops. I've got on pink today. I got this wonderful faux um, gold jewelry, but it keeps its uh, finish uh, from the flea market. Love it. It's just beautiful 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 i get a lot of compliments on it a lot of people think that it's real i don't mind telling you that it's not but do you see in the light it's just gorgeous it's a neutral um and even though it has the shine the gloss finish the base coat which is what you use interchangeably as the glue and the uh, excuse me, the applicator for the powder and the top coat to give you the sheen, the finish. Um, but it also has this matte, you know, element to it. You know, those neutrals that are in that category. And I love that. I love that. I think it's very chic. So there you have it, folk. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? Well, if I'm missing something, then I'll tell you in the video. Bye. And for those of you who are celebrating and you look like me and you're still celebrating Thanksgiving under the notion that it is a colonial holiday, get your shit together and at least share a meal in honor of our fellow diaspora. Yes, the indigenous people were here originally and don't technically qualify as diasporan but considering the nature of it all we should be more well suited to be delightfully connected to indigenous people than somehow disconnected or intentionally separate from them especially considering the history of our plight that continues even in present day. Get your shit together. Eating turkey and having Thanksgiving ass clapbacks and shit. Yeah, man.